Hello everyone, my name is Team Wing and in this video I'm going to show you how I edit my vlog number 18. The first thing I want to show you is transition. So between these two clips here, I have a exponential fade in here. Now let me show you what it looks like on this big screen here. Drag it down. Okay, let's play it. If you listen carefully, you can tell that when I reach to the end of the first clip, it fade out slowly and then when it gets to the second clip, it also fade out and then it goes up higher. So let's listen to it one more time. So if we do delete this, it's not very cohesion. Most of the time you want to fade between two clips because you want to get that fluid motion. So in your effect panel, search for uh, transition. And it's actually right here under crossfade called exponential fade. Then you will drag it down to the middle and that's all. The second tip I want to show you is speeding up a clip. I have this clip here as a time lapse. I shot this time lapse through my Panasonic GX8 and it's already moving fast at 100% but I moved it to 300% so that I can show the cloud moving a little bit faster. And to do that, you right click on the clip, go to speed duration, go to 300%, and if you would like, choose optical flow. I always choose optical flow. It seems to have the best result for me. And then click OK. And that is how you speed up this clip. The third tip is making title. Let's play this clip. The clip is playing in the background, but I have a font in the front of it. And the font is transparent so you can see what's happening in the background. To do this, first you have to have a black video and then you need a title. Alright, first we need to put a black video on here. And let me stretch this out. Move this all the way to the bottom. Click on this new icon. Click on black video. Click OK. Now a black video is in here. You drag it on top. This thing is a little too big. Let's match it with the clip on the bottom. And you can also rename this black video to, well, black video. Now you need to add a title on top. So go to File, New, Legacy Title, and call this one T Win. Okay, choose the biggest, not the biggest, but the widest font so you can have your background showing. So let me try this. Let's be a little creative and make this two level. Now right align. We're going to make this bigger as big as you want so that you can see through the background. And you can click X to close. Now you have that title. We move that title to the top of black video. Now you need to go to transition and you look for something called matte and it's called track matte key. You click and you drag it to black video. Now make sure your black video is highlighted. Go into the effect control on the left. For the matte, you want to choose video Three. Now how do I know that? It's because our font, our title is on video 3 line. So we choose video 3. As you can see now it's black. But now we need to do another thing which is reverse. The fourth tip I want to show you is something that I didn't know about until I really very upset that I, you know, I, I can't. Oh, let me show you. So you know sometimes you want to, you don't want the audio, you would unlink it and then delete the audio. And then for some reason you want that audio back, but you have exited the application already or your computer crashed, so you can't have that audio back. You can't control Z to get it back. So how did you get it back? In the beginning, I would check out the file name. So this is 00101. I would choose that from here. And then I have this, and then I have to find the right in and out point so that I can find the audio clips. And it's really annoying to match those two together, the video and audio. But I found out there's a shortcut key, which is F. Highlight the clip you have lost the audio. Click on F. And now you have that clip back with the in point and the out point correctly match the clip. Click on drag audio only and drag it to your clip on your timeline. Now you have a perfectly matched audio and video. You're welcome. For the fifth tips, I want to talk about sound. These are the sound that I've created. I didn't want to get into any copyright issue when using other people's sound. Even though it's free for now, it might not be free forever. So I created my own sound. So for this directional blur transition, I made a sound with my own voice. Basically, it's like this. 
So let me show you how to create sound and how to make it so it sounds better. Since we want to put our voice here, right click on this empty space, go to voice record setting. Here you want to choose a microphone that will work for you. Right now I'm using a Yeti microphone and this is a, a, a good gain right here, negative 12. And then I click close. That's how you set up your microphone. You need to locate where you want your voice to be at. Right now I want it between these two clips because there's a directional blur that I have put in place. Click I to mark an endpoint. That way that that's where your clip's gonna be. So let's start recording. Click on this voice over record. It's gonna count down three, two, one. And then click space to pause, to stop. Let's hear through this again. Let's move it back a little bit to where the transition is actually is happening. Now here's another step that most people don't do is you need to put on another effect so that it sounds more of a sound effect rather than your own voice. Highlight that sound clip that you just made. Go into your effect panel, search for low pass. Here you have low pass and you drag this on. Let's put this to 2500 and let's try to listen to it. It's very subtle and I don't like that. So I'm gonna move it up higher. Now let's listen to it again. As you can hear it, it sounds better. In the next video, I will show you how to do the directional blur like this one and also the zoom in blur like this one. Thank you for watching. My name is Team Wing. Have a good day.